Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be baking uh, bread and uh, it has uh, cream cheese and jalapenos inside. It's real good. We're going to start by preparing the yeast uh, in one third of a cup of warm water. And we're going to be using two tablespoons, which is going to be two envelopes like this. And this one is the one that I'm, I'm using. So I'm going to start by preparing this first. And, and then I describe the other ingredients we're going to be using, okay? Here I have three tablespoons of sugar, but I'm going to use uh, one teaspoon. And I'm going to put it in the water and mix it. And I'm going to put the... Uh, the yeast in here too and mix it very well. So let's mix it and mix it. Okay, so now that we mix it real good, we're going to put it to the side, but we're going to put it in a warm spot. So I put it over here on top of the stoop because the stoop is always warm. So now if you can see it's uh, going all the way up and you can see the bubbles right there so now i'm going to go through the ingredients over here i have the flour i'm going to be using and i'm going to be using four cups and over here i have the jalapeno which is this one the one that i'm using right here from a can and i also have roasted um peppers that i'm going to be using in some of them one tablespoon of salt three tablespoons of sugar and over here I have sesame seeds and uh, I'm going to be using one cream cheese but I always have two because if I want to put more I can always do that and one cup of milk and uh, I warm it up in the microwave and uh, four tablespoons of Crisco and if you want to you can use butter it's up to you so i'm going to start by mixing all the dry ingredients so i'm going to put the flour here and it's going to be four cups and four and i'm going to save just a little bit on the side i'm going to put a little extra more to be rolling my bread so i'm going to put it on the side So now I'm going to put the salt in here and the sugar. And I'm going to mix it in the machine, okay? You see what happened in here? How it went all the way to the top All the bubbles are there. So let's keep on mixing our flour with the ingredients. So over here I put the salt and the sugar so far. Now I'm going to be putting the Crisco Manteca inside. Okay, so let's put this in here. The four tablespoons. It's one tablespoon per cup. And we start mixing. Okay, now I'm going to make a little hole right here. And I'm going to put this in here. Okay, a little bit of the milk. And take it back to the, to the machine. So we're going to put the milk little by little. So I'm going to put one third of more milk in here, little by little, and mix it. Okay, so it's done. As you can see, it's real nice and soft. So I'm going to put it to rest for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we start doing our bread, okay? And I end up putting an extra one fourth of a cup of milk, and uh, it, it was a warm milk. So if you need more milk, you can always put more. You know, it depends on the flour we're using. Okay, so I just got a little 
pinch of Crisco and I'm going to put it over here by the sides because it's going to be spreading all the way high. So let's just do this, okay? So I cover with plastic over here and I'm going to put it over there by the stove because it needs to be in a warm place. So this is a place where I put it. So I'm going to leave it there for 15 or 20 minutes, okay? So let it rest a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to start cutting the cheese uh, over here. So we're going to do this. Push it to the side. And you can put as much cheese as you want on your bread. But it's real good when it has a lot of cheese. So you just slice it like this. This is how are we going to use it. So I end up making uh, 12 slices. So I'm going to leave the other one on the side in case I don't need it. So we'll see, okay? So now it's time to butter the pan. So I'm going to butter everything around. Clean it up a little bit. You don't want it too greasy either. Just like this. I'm going to do the other one too. Okay, so now over here I'm going to do one egg and one tablespoon of heavy cream or milk. So I'm going to put it here. Mix it a little bit. And now I'm going to put one tablespoon of heavy cream. And mix it real good. And put it to the side. And we have everything ready for making our bread right now. And clean the table real good because we're going to be rolling our bread over here. Sanitize it real good. If you see, it almost uh, doubled the portion already. So we're going to start making our bread now. Look at this, how nice it looks. So mix it a little bit more. Sometimes I do it with my hands. Sometimes I do it with a machine. Okay, so we're going to start making our bread now, okay? So let me start. I'm going to put a little flour here and you can make it as big as you want to I'm not gonna do it too big so So now we put the jalapeno here and the cheese. I put a little egg here. Just roll it. There you go. So now I'm going to do another one with the other paper. And this one is spicy. And if you're going to use the this papers, you can always roast them. You can also use, you know, the fresh jalapeno. You just roast it and then uh and then you can just do the little slices.
Here you go. I'm going to cover with plastic and then I'm going to put it on top of the stove and let it rest for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes until they double the size. Okay. I like putting a lot of cheese, but it's not your choice. So I end up cutting the other cheese to have enough. There. And you can make them as big as you want. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done and I end up making probably like around 19. And the size is not too small and not too big. And I end up using one cheese and a half. So now I'm going to put them to rest for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, okay? If you can see the bread, it already doubled the size. So I, I already turned on the oven for 350. And we're going to put it to cook for about 15 minutes or 20. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a little bit on top with my scissors. You can use a knife like this. So this is the egg that was left. And I'm putting some on the top of the bread after we cut it. Put it everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so I finished putting all the egg in there. So now I'm going to be putting the sesame seeds on top. And I'm doing this ones with sesame seeds and the other ones without it because not everybody like them. Okay, I'm done with this, so I'm going to put it inside the oven now. It depends how big you make them, that's how many you're going to be getting. I make them uh, kind of small, so I end up making a uh, 19 from the, from four cups of flour. So I'm going to finish with this, and I'm going to put it inside the oven now, okay? Okay, it's going in the oven for 15 or 20 minutes. We'll see, okay? I'll get it right there. And there's our bread. It's almost done. Okay, so our bread is done. So we're going to be turning off the oven and we're going to take out the, the bread, okay? Okay, this is our bread and it's already done. You see how nice it looks? So I'm going to let it get cold and then I'm going to fix it in a plate, okay? Okay, and this is how our bread looks. If you can see, there's all the cheese and the, and the jalapeno in there and it's so good. Okay, and this is our bread. We end up making 19. It depends how big you make them. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thank you for watching my videos. Like and subscribe.